y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you all with a review of the chanel lavages healthy glow powder um i ordered the powder from chanel and it arrived in a box like this along with a envelope i'm going to read a little bit about the powder before i open up the box and show y'all what's inside and kind of go everything over everything okay this powder is a effortless multi-use face powder that enhances brightens sorry enhances brightens or bronzes the appearance of the complexion for a custom healthy glow look for a healthy looking glow use alone to heighten skin's natural beauty or over makeup for a finish for a sheer luminous finish um along with the uh powder it does come with a brush it's um a half moon shaped brush i think that's really recommended for you to use the brush with this but it's kind of your uh preference also you can, like it said, you can use this powder as a bronzer or as a um, finishing, kind of like setting powder. Depends on what shade you get and your skin complexion. I decided to get the deepest shade because I wanted to use it for, as a all over powder. But let's get right into unboxing it. And in the envelope, this is just a uh, copy of the um, receipt and the tracking label. But this is what the envelope looked like. It's black and it says Chanel on the envelope that's what the box looks like let's open it up i love chanel packaging like it's just the best and it comes like this in the wrapping paper i don't know if you guys can see it has chanel on it and it has kind of like the sticky thing with the chanel logo on it as well i'm not going to tear this open because i want to keep it exactly like this and along with the powder i got two samples from chanel that came in a baggie like this and the samples that i picked was the uh, mascara i haven't opened this up obviously and i also decided to go with the hand cream and this is what that looks like and this is what the box looks like and i went with the deepest shade which is number seven and it comes in a little baggie that looks like this that says with the chanel logo and this also comes in a like a limited edition packaging i believe or special edition i can't really remember where it has like chanel written across in cursive i went with this packaging because the shade i wanted they didn't have it in that particular uh packaging so i just went with the regular classic uh, thing with the Chanel logo. And it's the same price as well. But this is what it looks like when you open it up. This is the brush that comes with it. And that says Chanel. And this also what I like comes with, this comes right here. Oops. This comes out as well. So you can kind of sit your brush on top of this when you finish using it or you could take it out. It's kind of up to you, but I think I'm gonna leave mine on here so I can sit my brush on top of it when I'm finished. This is what the shade looks like. I think it matches me pretty good. I could have went with a few shades lighter, but I just wanted to use this particular shade as a face powder. I didn't want to use it as like a under eye. And clearly I can't use this as a contour shade, but anyway so i'm going to apply it to my face wear it throughout the day and give you all give you all my opinion but yeah this is what that look like just in case i'm trying to make sure i go over everything in this video but anyway yeah let's just put it on my face see how it apply and then i'll wear it throughout the day okay y'all i just um put the chanel uh water tint on and i have some of the laura mercier um translucent the translucent the new um shade honey i just got that under my eyes for a little bit and i'm gonna press that in before i start putting this all over my face so give me a second y'all i really don't want to use the brush but because i usually like a, a like a fluffier brush to put on like powder or whatever and I'm only gonna put it like on the 
the perimeter of my face. I'm not going to go like under my eyes, even though you can if you have a lighter shade. Yeah, I don't like this brush. Let me use, use this one. And you see, it do have a little, quite little color to it. Now this is sheer and it's very, very light coverage. I don't even think it's going to even like make that much of a difference on top of that water tint because that is like super, super light. And yeah, see, it has no type of coverage because I have a dark spot right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I see it all the time. And it could just be one of them things of the fact that I know it's there. But yeah, you can see kind of like my little dark mark here. I have them on both sides. So. I'm kind of going in with this palette. Let me shut up. Okay, y'all, this is what my face look like. I feel like it did create kind of like a, not like a blurring effect, but kind of almost like a veil a little bit. Like I can tell I have something on, but it don't look like, it doesn't, it don't look heavy. It's very sheer. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna put some bronzer on, blush, mascara, and that's pretty much it because this is very light and the water tint is super light. Y'all already know that, so. And I'm gonna come back and show y'all what my face look like. I like it so far. Like it's very, very sheer. I really wanna cover these marks right here. It's not full coverage at all. All right, y'all, let me just go right quick and I'll come back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. This is what my face look like after I let the powder kind of sit for a while and I added um, blush and bronzer. Looking at my face, I don't see a glow because this is a sh uh, sheer glow powder. Yeah, I don't really see a, a glow at all. Um, I do like it, it's very, very light. I feel like this is perfect with this, being that this is light as well. Or this is perfect for like those no makeup, makeup days. This is like perfect for that. I probably could have put this on with just concealer, but I really want to try these two together. But I don't really see a glow. To me, I don't. I don't know how it's coming off on camera, but I do like it. I'm going to wear it for a few hours, then I'll come back and show y'all what my face looks like. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I've had this powder on for about eight hours. This is what my face looks like. When I first initially put the powder on, um, it did not provide much coverage at all. But once it kind of settled the first hour or two, I actually, I really did like how my face looked. I think the color matched me pretty good and I did compare it to my Kat Von D powder as far as the color. I'm not comparing it to the formulation because these are totally two different powders, but I think I did a good job with picking the color because this is like my holy, holy, holy grail powder. But anyway, um, would I recommend somebody going out buying this? No. Do I feel like you need this in your makeup collection? No. Um, this is strictly a want. It's not a need. It's not something that's going to take your face or your makeup to the next level. Not at all. This is just great for everyday use. Um, you could use this by yourself. You could use it on top of a foundation or however you want to use it. You can use it that way. But for me personally, I can't, I don't think I will be picking this back up no time soon. Um, out of the two Chanel, uh, makeup products that I just, uh, reviewed, if I had to pick one, I would pick this one over that. So basically what I'm saying, if I had to recommend or pick one for people to go out to buy, it would be this one over over this. I just, I don't like it. I don't think um, somebody with oily skin would enjoy it much. I guess it really depends on your preference. If you want to look glowy, if you want to look shiny. I, I don't mind having that glow, but I don't want to look like a grease bucket and I feel like I was looking greasy throughout the day and I had to keep touching up my face and I don't want to do that especially when I'm out in public or especially if I'm out with a man if I'm out with a man I don't want my face to be looking greasy 
you know <laughs> but anyway y'all so yeah i'm kind of in between my feelings with this but um, yeah i just i wouldn't recommend it i mean now if you just want to try this out just for the sake of trying it go ahead if you just got 65 dollars that you just want to blow and you can just go waste it on not waste it but go try it on a the product I, then go for it but i i would not recommend nobody buying this even if you do have dry or normal skin i i don't think you need this so yeah that's my review of this uh what is it the healthy sheer glow powder i can't even remember the name like that's how over it i am but i'm gonna go now so y'all please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye